Hello, everyone. That was short. Five minutes break are really okay. Open the window, breathe a little bit, come back, sit down, and restart. So, I hope you have uh, uh, energy for this final sprint. Uh, we have uh, three very interesting talks uh, ahead of us before the, the end of the webinar session. And I have the privilege to introduce Francisco. Uh, Reyes Andres, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name properly, I apologize in advance. And um, Francisco is bringing a very interesting topic. Uh, the, the, the topic is deduction of the size and temperature of exoplanets from their light curves. I'm really interested to see what you have to present. You have 20 minutes and five minutes before the end. I will let you know so you can still have some time for questions and answers. For the audience, if you have questions, please use the Q&A. If you have comments, use the chat. Welcome, Francisco, the, share, the, the, the floor is yours and you can share your screen. Thank you. This is the perfect. perfect. Mm. Mm. We have used data from observation of transit of a exoplanet to observe the size and distance of the exoplanet from its star, as well as its surface temperature to check if it could be innovated by humanity. Mm, this, this work we have made in the high school with a student. This work can be adapted to make in one session of one hour, one hour or mm, many sessions. Mm. <coughs> in, specifically, from this star, we have work with the student Luis Carrillo Hernández and Pablo Rufete Bernard. The ESIS method to detect exoplanets is the transit method. When that planet passes in front of the star, the brightness decreases first abruptly and then very um, softly. And then when the transit is finished and the planet passes total, total mean in front of the star, the brightness of the star is the same that at first. If the decreasing brightness is very big, in the, this indicates that the planet is very big in relatively with the star. With the studying to understand the phenomenon, we, uh, we use a light bulb and several cardboard disks that simulate planets. With an Arduino board and, L and an LDR sensor, we measure the brightness variation. Here we can see the computer with the Arduino board and the LDR sensor to detect the change in brightness. We have a tube with the LDR to avoid straight light from the class, from the classroom. And in the photograph of the ray, we can see the beach simulating a planet in front of the star. Made inside planet in the right, in the left, and in the right, a uh, deeper um, light cube with a slow planet and a light planet. We can see the difference. Then we can know the parameters of the planet, the size, the temperature. Uh, 
where first we need to elaborate the necessary calculation and implement them for facility in a spread set. Um, for when we select the data from several transit from the SuperWAS project and create with the spread set the graph. With the duration and degrees of brightness, of brightness the study can obtain the parameters of the planets. We have a step from the or do the calculation. The first step is from the distance of the star and the brightness seen from the Earth, we calculate the actual brightness of the star. First, we calculate the absolute magnitude, then the luminosity in comparison with the sun, and then the luminosity in, in watts, the real luminosity. The second step, from the temperature within, within out the brightness intensity of the surface. More temperature is very, very more intensity in the surface. Is that the intensity is proportional to the um, T a la fourth power of, of the temperature. And also, see if, if we know the surface brightness and the total brightness, we can know the size of the star. A star with a high luminosity and a very big size will be, will be a low um, surface brightness. This forest strip from the size of the star that, that we know and the percentage of that decrease in brightness, we can know the size of the planet. If the decrease is very small, the planet will be very small. The decrease in brightness is proportional to the square of the size of the planet. From the transit time and the size of the star, we can know the speed of the planet. And we assume that the planet passes in front of the center of the star, that node is very the here. From the state of the planet and the period between transits, we can know the size of the orbit. And with the size of the orbit, and assuming it's, it's circular, we can know the radius of the orbit and the distance from the planet to the star. With the temperature aside for the star, the distance from the planet to the star, we can know the temperature of the planet and know if the planet is habitable or not. To calculate the temperature of the planet, we take the we calculate the equilibrium temperature in which the emission of the planet equals the emission of the star resided by the planet. Then with this calculus, we know what we need to make the calculus. From the light curve, we, we obtain the percentage of decreasing brightness and the duration of the transit. And from internet, we take the distance to the star, the visual magnitude of the star, the translation period or period between transit, and the surface temperature of the star. And we need to estimate the albedo or the reflectance of the planet. We take similar to the planets of the solar system, a 40%. Then we implemented all the calculus in the spreadsheet. And to take the star data, data will go to the NASA Exoplanet Archive. 
and download um, some less course and we choose five exoplanets. In this photograph, we can see one of the SuperWAS project cameras used to discover and observe exoplanets. Then this, we have one of the original data files, data file. We must to change to a spread cell format. And with the spread set, we'll create the, the student create the graphs. Here we have we can see the five um, star we have in issue and the line five like, like cube. Some are very fine, like was 4B or was 10B. And another are more noisy. In West 4B, we can see the period when the, the planet is passing in, in the border of the star. This indicates the, the planet is also very big um, relatively with the with the star. In West 10B, the decrease is equally. Um, Slowly, and the percentage of decrease is all over the third, third or one percent, very big. With this spreadsheet, we make the calculation, and the results are the next. The relative size of the planets, we can see all are very big. big. West 3B are the biggest, very biggest than Jupiter. West 10B is the smaller. And the temperature, we have a range between 560 degrees and 1,370 degrees. They are all inevitable. Inevitable. They are temperatures very high to life. We have to, to do some supposition. The sources of error we identify are that planets normally not transit through the center of the star. They usually pass above or below the center. We assume that the transit is through the center. The brightness of the star is uniform. And we take the minimum brightness. But they are big day, big day in the center than, than in the border. We have assumed also circular orbits for the planets. And we have deduced the energy emitted by the star to calculate the temperature of the planet from that of the sun. With having different temperatures, the correspondence between the energy resided by the star is not the same if it was the sun. A red star need more energy than the sun in, in red color in, in, and in another in parts of the spectrum. Then our result was that the radius of the orbit are very small and the part will be about 6 million kilometers. In comparison, Mercury is um, 58 million kilometers. They are very near of the star. The star was 4 and was 10 are brighter at the center than at the edge. 
Huawei was 14 has a very uniform brightness. It is, in, is not coincidence that the planets have a high temperature. The ISIS planet Jupiter have a small orbit with frequent transit, only two, three days, um, very few days, and a market decrease in the luminosity because they are very big. And for, the, for this reason, they are usually large and with high temperature because they are being close to the star. You have five minutes. Thank you. The discrepancy with the sizes is less than 10%, except for was 10B due that in different databases, the distances was different. The difference with temperature was a bit bigger Normally, astronomers estimated higher temperatures than, than we. And from this activity, we are creating from the Moudin Science Museum a workshop that includes an exoplanet simulation that we can see before, and uh, finding the size and the speed on an exoplanet from the light curve. And the planets we have in studied are uninhabitable due to high, the highest temperature. The research on exoplanet make us to reflection to the need to take care of the environment and keep the Earth habitable for our next generation. Not is only reaching us extrasolar planet unattainable, but the habitability condition in all the planet, exoplanets are very varied. And those who can who are prone to light they are very small number of the planet. With the student, this activity can be adapted to multiple levels and time availability. Students can learn concepts about the subplanet, but also develop method to make deduction, to learn a bit of the electronics, use the spreadsheet, make presentation, and above all, the student become aware that they need to conserve our plan. Thank you. Thank you very much for this uh, very interesting presentation, uh, a very uh, innovative way of uh, achieving all these results and you have uh, raised some interest. Uh, Christian um, Goes is asking, is saying, excellent, how can we contact you? I think, Christian, you have uh, the contact here on the screen, and maybe, Francisco, you can also put your email address in the, um, in the chat, as well as the drive address, so it's easier for people to just click. And uh, uh, there's also from Samir, uh, a comment, this is really an interesting project and uh, Samir is interested to implement it in India with the help of the, oops, now it is moving, the robotics and astronomy students. Very nice work. So you can read the, the, the other comments. People are complimenting your work. Please leave your email and uh, the address of the, the drive here. And thank you very much for this uh, very nice uh, presentation. And I'll ask you now to please stop sharing your screen. So we have we can welcome the next uh, speaker. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So to stop sharing, you have the green button button in the in the bottom of uh, the Zoom. And if you click on it, you will stop sharing your screen, Francisco, please.